What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba Marina. I've got a customer's uh, wing here. This is the Mares XR 34 pound wing. It's designed for single tanks. And he actually brought me this wing in because he said he's leaking quite a bit of air from it and he's not sure where it's coming from. Uh, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to break it down and I'm going to show you what we look for anytime a customer says that they're not able to retain air in their system or in their buoyancy system. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to locate and find it if you're diving a backplate and wing system. So let's get started. Alright guys, so let's take a quick look at the wing system here. Um, but I do want to mention something. If your BC is actually leaking, um, there are holes, these little grommet holes in the bottom of the wing itself. And there's two up here in the top of the wing. If you've got air coming out of there, that is typically normal. That's just trapped air that's inside the... Uh, wing itself not necessarily the bladder but the wing itself but if it's an excess amount of air and it seems like it's never stopping then that's usually a good indicator that your bladder has some type of hole or tear in it uh, and that's what we're going to be inspecting on his here but with this system it's very easy to to disassemble uh, of course we want to make sure that our exhaust port is taken off and that our low pressure inflator hose ports taken off once that is done that's pretty much the hardest thing there is to do. All I'm gonna do is just take the wing itself and I'm gonna press down on those ports, okay, to push them down. I'll do the same thing here. I'm just gonna take the wing and press down on the port, just like that. Kinda of gets it out of the hole. And then I'm gonna come up here to the zipper and I'm just gonna simply unzip the wing. Now with this being a donut bladder, it's pretty easy to do as far as taking the, the bladder outside of the wing. But I'm gonna unzip it, and you actually wanna zip this one all the way, or unzip it all the way to it's completely exposed, just like that, okay? Now you can kinda see the bladder up in there. It's basically just a glorified balloon, if you will. But I'm gonna pull it out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set the wing aside. And I'm gonna pull the bladder up. Now at this point, I may wanna reinstall the low pressure hose and also reinstall the uh, exhaust port at the bottom that way I can actually put air in it I can check for leaks and things like that now for the purpose of this video I've actually already found the leak in here he does have a tear in his wing um, and I have it marked here so that you can see I just put a little circle around it put a couple X's to show where it's at and I'm not sure if the camera will pick up but right there at my fingertip is a little tiny tear and the way that we found that is we just took a spray bottle with a little bit of soap and water in it. We put our exhaust port back in. We also put our inflator uh, hose back in and we put a little bit of air to it and just started spraying all the way down until we saw bubbles start to come up or fizz up. And that let us know where it's at. We dried the area off. Of course, we marked it so that we know where it's at. Now, there's several different options here. Obviously, you can repair it. If it's such a teeny tiny hole like this, it's just a little pinhole, you can put you a little dab of Aquasil or something like that on or a little bit of vinyl glue and it'll fix the problem very easily. But in this situation, we're actually gonna get him a brand new uh, bladder system for his wing. I'm not gonna let him reuse this system when it's very easy to just get him a new bladder. So that's what we're gonna be doing for him. But let's pretend for a, for a second that this is a new bladder. I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to reinstall one of the things that you want to be cautious of is don't get your inflator port or your inflator hose port and your exhaust port mixed up because it's going to be crucial when you're putting this thing back together that they get lined up so I know that this is going to be the exhaust port at the bottom so I'm going to start looking for the bottom of the wing exhaust port and right here is going to be the orifice for it so I just want to get everything lined up so I'm going to lay the wing down and I'm going to actually take the bladder and lay it on top. And at first glance, you wouldn't think that the bladder would be as large as what it is. I mean, just one side of the bladder pretty much takes up the entire wing itself. But you got to remember, there's a lot of lift in these single wings. This is a 34-pound lift. Uh, I ice dive with this 34-pound lift with almost 40 pounds of weight, and it's plenty of lift for me. So with that being said the the bladders tend to be a lot bigger than what the wings tend to be so now to get it lined up all I'm gonna do is just start taking the bladder and pushing it back into the wing itself 
And once I get everything in there and, and kind of installed, then I'll worry about lining up all the ports and all that. My main concern now is just getting everything back into position. I want to make sure that I don't kink up the bladder in any way <clears throat> or create any type of um, unnecessary uh, creases in it or anything like that. So I'm just going to kind of push it up in there. And I'm going to start up here on the inflator uh, hose port first. And I'm just going to kind of line it up. And I want to make sure that the ceiling part here, what the, the rim of it goes all the way down and seals. And that way when I screw back on the low pressure inflator hose, it's actually going to create that seal there for me. So very easily, as you can see, I've just got it reinstalled there. Now before I zip it up, I want to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to come down here to the bottom and I'm going to realign the exhaust port as well. Just kind of shift the wing over with the bladder itself. I'm just going to take my thumb and just kind of run it around the rim of it there just to get everything relined back up, just like that. So I've got it lined back up. I've got the low pressure inflator port lined back up. And now all that's left is to make sure that my zipper is exposed and it's actually in the center of the bladder system. So making sure I don't have any unnecessary creases or bunched up pieces of material in there. I'm going to get the zipper exposed here. All right. And now all that's left is to get my zipper lined back up get it started now once it's started it should just go right into place okay and then of course if this was a brand new bladder system all I would have to do left is attach my exhaust port at the bottom I'm also going to need to attach my low pressure inflator assembly here at the top right and then I can simply test it. I can put a little bit of air to it, test it, make sure that it inflates. Usually when I test BCDs, I give them about a 24 hour test period. So that means I'm gonna inflate them up to their max. I'll put about 15 to 20 pounds worth of weight, just lay it on top of it. And I'm gonna let it set for 24 hours. Make sure it holds its form, make sure it holds the air, make sure it hasn't leaked down. Now you don't have to go that extreme. That's just what I do when I test BCs. But that's it guys, that's as simple as it gets as far as testing a bladder system, looking for leaks, you know, even cleaning out the wings because these do collect dirt over time. These little grommet ports here where water's allowed to drain out, they also let dirt and grime and stuff like that in. So it's a very simple process. But now I'm actually gonna take this one out and actually replace it with a new bladder system for the customer and then get him back diving. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions on backplate and wings, even on uh, standard bladder systems for BCDs, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer your questions the best I can. Guys, if you like this video, simply smash that like button for me. Definitely share it as well. Every time you watch our videos, you comment on our videos, you share our videos, they support us more than you can actually imagine. But guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.